Streaming Wars have gotten kind of ridiculous. And joining the ranks of Disney+, Plus, AMC+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus, Paramount+, Plus, we now have a new streaming challenger approaching. Yes, Discovery Plus is launching January 4th in the United States. Here's what Discovery has said about this. So, Discovery, uh, if you have Horizon, you're going to get Discovery Plus for free. Uh, not exactly true. If you have the best plans for Horizon, you get Discovery Plus for free for 12 months. If you have other plans, you can get six months. Discovery says they're going to launch the largest ever library for a new streaming service with more than 55,000 episodes from the Discovery Iconic Brands and BBC's Natural History Collection, a &E Networks, Group 9, and more. It's going to include a robust, a robust slate of new exclusive originals with storytellers including Chip and Tarana Gaines, extremely popular from HGTV, Sir David Attenborough, basically the voice of BBC nature shows, David Schwimmer, who, yes, is voicing a documentary series, Will Packer, Kevin Hart, Bobby Flay, Gata De Laurentiis, and more. There's also a 90-day fiancé universe. That's apparently a universe, folks. Tremble, tremble. Discovery Plus will also be the new streaming home of the Olympic Games in Europe and Eurosport's premium sport offering. And the global rollout begins with the UK, Ireland, India, Nordics, Italy, and the Netherlands, uh, where it's already started rolling out. So this was the plan. It's going to come here on January 4th, 2021. And here is the important part of this. So, first of all, when you think of Discovery... Um, think of stuff like HGTV, Food Network, TLC, ID, OWN, Travel Channel, Discovery Channel, Animal Planet. Also going to have BBC and a and a and &E and so on on here. So, here is uh, the pricing. So, it's going to be available in the U.S. starting at $4.99 a month. That's cheaper than most. Um, with an ad-free version available at $6.99 a month. Each account will include up to five user profiles and four concurrent streams. Most streaming services only do two or three, so four is pr pretty close to the most. At launch, it will be available across all major platforms, including connected TVs, web, mobile, and tablets. I hope that includes Roku and Fire TV, because if not, you're going to have some issues like many have had in the past. It's also going to have a lot of originals. So it says it's going to have a thousand hours of original content in year one. If you know Discovery, you know they can produce original content like none other. They just kind of poop it out. Um, so it's going to include shows like all these 90-day shows. Apparently, it is an actual universe. Um, lifestyle shows like this one right here. You have Bobby and Gera in Italy. You have all these food food shows. You have home uh, improvement shows. Uh, you have true crime shows. You have adventure shows. These aren't. I said this like exploring Route 66 right here, um, nylon ropes. Uh, here's Mysterious Planet, narrated by David Schwimmer, an epic journey to the ends of the earth, combining humor with awe and beauty of the natural world. Um, great mysteries beneath the world's most incredible species. You have a show with Mike Rowe right here. You have documentary series. You have paranormal series, um, and so on. So let's have a look right here. So if you want to sign up in the United States, you can put your email right here, and it'll give you some idea of what's to come. Um, here's, again, some of the channels and shows you can expect. And, again, some more. If you're the type of person that likes to watch Property Brothers, like there's a lot of people who do, Gold Rush, uh, Hometown, my wife loves that show, Expedition Unknown, uh, My 600-pound Life, that show actually terrifies me, but that's for a completely different reason, um, Ghost Adventures, uh, food, you know, there's a lot of different stuff here. If this interests you, perhaps $5 a month is worth it because a lot of people binge on this stuff. Um, if you have Ryzen, it seems quite worth it. You get it for free anyway. Uh, you might as well check it out. Um, but the rest of you guys, does this look appealing at all? It's going to have the largest ever launch, but it's not really what you'd expect. Um, does Discovery seem like something you're interested in it usually to me would be competing with something like curiosity stream but curiosity stream is twenty dollars a year this is five dollars a month so 60 what do you think sign off in the comments